here in La Rochelle on board the replica pilot cutter Jonathan Livingston led by John Raymond Barker in 2017. forward the main coach roof the main uh, companion hatch here is the oak fort houseless fort with uh, footrests here to support you while you're on the helm engine controls here and the rudder has a, a trim tab system which can be can, can be controlled by an autopilot electric tiller pilot uh, for give you an autopilot system main sheet galvanized fittings here you can see navigation instruments and the compass easily visible from the helm uh, these are running back stay levers which connect to a single running back stay which uh, splits at the top to support the bar and the mast in, uh, in two positions higher up and lower down Skylight over the saloon. And pin rail with belay pins for all the running rigging falls. The standing rigging is galvanized, spliced wire, parceled and served. At the moment, the bowsprit is run back in and has a heel rope to pull it back out again. A Webster manual windlass, anchor windlass. the gas locker and the uh, flue pipe for the wood burning stove Uh, down below on Jonathan Livingston. It's the chart desk on the starboard side. Galley with a porcelain basin, hot and cold pressurised water, gas stove and a lot of storage space. The engine is under the sink with lots of removable panels, so it's very, very accessible. And here's the anti-siphon links and the exhaust. Entrance into the aft cabin on the starboard side. Very large double berth. And as you can see, all the hull is accessible, no linings, so everything is visible which makes maintenance a breeze storage space on the starboard side hanging locker here the batteries are located under this locker the base of the companion steps
Here's a seat that swings out when you're using the chart desk. A bit of space here. Morzo wood burning stove with a stainless twin wall flue. Storage locker. Main saloon. It's a city berth to port. In here is another locker for storage. Rope storage here and uh, top access storage locker in behind the seat back. Saloon table. Folds up. Nice big oak table. Pilot berth here. And lots of storage space underneath. Plus more storage under the pilot berth with lee cloths. Skylight here above. Moving forward into the forepeak, hanging locker. Under here is one of the water tanks, another water tank under the starboard berth, two single berths in here. And here's the anchor horse pipe and the anchor locker under here. Again, no linings, no ceiling on the hull. The whole structure is visible, very good for ventilation. And heads compartment with a Jabsco C toilet, and here is the changeover valve so you can discharge into the black tank or straight overboard. Hot and cold pressurized water. And this feeds an external tap, so you can have hot water on deck for showers on deck. 